what's going on guys another knife review for you and today we're talking about a double feature essentially it's the same knife just two different sizes of it this is their medium three inch version and this is called the conquer and then here's the big brother this is the three and a half inch version of the same knife this is the one i've actually been using more often than this one but i did take this out for a spin and it's literally the same knife just smaller you know nothing wrong with it at all as far as ergonomics i i happen to prefer the the larger one a little bit more but uh still very comfortable so yeah, this is the Conquer by uh, Outdoor Edge. Now I first got introduced to Outdoor Edge knives when I got this model. And if you remember, I did a review on this way back when, and I was seriously, seriously impressed with this. Now if you notice, let me grab this one. They are very similar, I mean, in the blade design, right? The fact that they're these frame locks, they're, I think it's a 420J and with the titanium coating on it. You know, both frame locks, I mean, same pocket clips essentially, just a slightly different design, you know, handle. This is kind of the upgraded version of this. Now, I love this. This is even cooler. So, uh, yeah, and then, of course, once I was exposed to uh, this particular model, the next thing I got was the uh, their fixed blade, the Brush Demon. I love that thing. And then I moved on to the Leduc, which, of course, you guys know all about by now. I did a review on it. Love that thing, you know, in a battle box, I recently got their saw, saw back buoy, I think what it is, saber back buoy, something like that. So uh, all of a sudden there's a lot of outdoor edge in my life, um, but I'm really, really digging these things. These things are awesome. So first off, here's the little box you get, all right, and the paperwork, of course a book shows you some of their other uh, products. They do have, like I've, I mentioned before, a lot of these outdoor specific knives and sets. Of course, folding saw, there's the uh, the conquer, the divide, all right. You see chasm, another, looks like yet another version, only these are lockback version of this knife as opposed to frame lock. So who knows, maybe that's in my future. But uh, I'm just, I like it, I like it a lot. This thing I didn't like, and <laughs> I never, I lost my footage for this, this harpoon thing, I got this in a battle box, was not really a fan of that. And unfortunately I have to do all that again because I, Got the stick and tied it on, and I, I, I had all the stuff I did, and I completely lost the footage from it. But anyway, let's read the uh, paperwork. Okay. So, the Conquer flipper folder with ball bearing pivot. Four meets function in this sleek and sturdy flipper uh, opener folding knife. The 8CR13 MOV stainless blade is precisely heat treated and hand finished, shaving sharp for superior edge retention and performance. Featuring an 18 ball bearing pivot system for smooth, lightning fast blade deployment with rock solid lockup and no side play. Um, the deep bellied blade with satin uh, stone wash balances perfectly with the 3D milled G10 titanium coated 420 stainless steel handles with pocket clip. Uh, of course, this is a Jerry Hosom design. So here's the specifications. That makes it nice. I don't have to read it off to you. Right there. You can pause it. Okay, even has a little section on sharpening. All right, it says use sharpen angle 44 degrees or 22 per side. It's pretty precise. All right, there's the maintenance section. And of course, you want to see the, the warranty information. All right, so everything you need to know. I like that. I like, you know, concise paperwork. All right, so now the box and paperwork's out of the way. We talk more about the knives. Again, here's the difference in the size. It really comes down to preference. Uh, perhaps you have a blade limitation where you happen to live, you know, state or local laws only allow you a three inch blade, you know, or less. That's where you're, you know, maybe stuck with the smaller version, but there's still nothing wrong with it at all. Still comfortable. My particular fingers, you could see how my ring finger lands right where this hump is. Okay. So although I can kind of, you know, go down on it a little bit here and it could be more comfortable in holding it naturally grabbing it. I like the, the large one because all three fingers do fit into this first, you know, groove. You know, curvature all right so ergonomically the large ones a little better of my uh, particular hand but you know they're exact replicas uh, as far as price because obviously that's a big factor you know without knowing what the price is most people don't even care um, this is a $40 knife this is a $38 knife essentially $37.50 and $39.95 uh, usually when you have a small and large version of the same knife there's a bigger gap like, uh, if you had to guess, you'd probably say this is maybe a $35 knife and this is like a $70 version of the same knife. But it's actually pretty damn close. Could be good. I kind of see it as the large one being cheaper or we may see it as the small one being too expensive. 
I don't know, <laughs> but uh, at least you have the uh, the option there. It's just kind of uh, more unique in that the price is so similar between the two models, okay? Just literally more material here. So um, let's put this one off to the side because I did use the larger one more often. Let's get a close up of, uh, actually let's talk about our handle first here. All right, this is our two-tone milled G10. Okay, it's obviously layered brown and black. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a cutout here that allows that all those different layers to come forth. You can see that beautiful coloration. All right, very nicely done. It's extremely smooth. I'm not gonna be able to really see it, but there's a, a ball bearing system in here. As they mentioned, 18 ball bearings. This thing shoots out lightning fast. Now, something I noticed with these uh, flippers here is in comparison with the uh, divide, the jimping goes all the way to the edge, okay? I've noticed with the uh, model on the right, the divide, the old one, I would slip off it sometimes, whereas the Conquer, I've never slipped off that. And you can see the jimping is right up on the edge, whereas this has a very smooth section towards the edge, okay? So in other words, when I had this model, sometimes I would do that because it's super smooth. It doesn't want to grab. Not only that, but the D10 is way stronger on the divide. As opposed to this, uh, I can't really slip off of it very easily because of two reasons. First of all, it's grippier and the D10's lighter. Okay, so it just wants to shoot out. Super nice and super, super smooth with the uh, ball bearing system in there. All right, so uh, I do like the flipper a little bit better. And more so with the D10 being lighter, I can open this slowly. Okay, whereas again with the divide, to use the thumb stud, I have to build up a lot of pressure and half the time I'm almost flicking it open before I even get to you know use it manually like that you know so I tend to pop it open as opposed to open it slowly okay and a little trick too if you have a very heavy detent like on this one as you're pushing the, the thumb stud you can pull down a little bit on that um, flipper to get it to open smoother okay so if you have any knife this works with of course any any flipper knife that happens to have thumb studs or maybe an opening hole or something like that, use the top of your pointer finger and literally pivot on both pieces here, okay, to get that to start so you can open it a little smoother and a little bit slower as to not scare all the sheeple out there because some people get scared at the idea of <gasps> popping your knife open so fast. So just a little uh, tip for me to you. So, um, yeah, I mean, like I said before, this is pretty much the same. It just, I mean, it's the same quality the same materials i mean essentially besides the scale in the front um same frame lock just a different different design same pocket clip i love the divide i just find the conquer is just a uh just a cooler version of it really i love the g10 feels very nice it's super smooth there's not there's no um extra grip here there is a little jimping and a slight thumb ramp here all right so of course like i said the larger one my three fingers fit right into this curvature here then my pinky hangs off the bottom and the thumb, it locks in place very nicely here. All right, so very comfortable to use. The reverse grip, the opposite happens. The bottom three fingers, grab that with the pointer finger, goes into the other section here. All right, thumb rests nicely here. There's no jimping or anything, but super comfortable. I really like the, uh, the ergos on this. I think aesthetically it's pleasing. It's a cool looking knife for sure. And of course, again, with most flipper models, it's gonna act like a guard. So it's gonna keep your hand from rising forward, specifically, from going down if you were a stab, okay? So I can confidently get a good grip on this and stab hard if I needed to, and have, don't have to worry about my hand riding forward onto the blade and cutting myself. Um, speaking of the blade, <laughs> just, I love this thing. It is super cool. Now, granted, 8CR 13 MOV is not, you know, anything special. It does the job. Um, I have had to uh, to sharpen this because I did use it a lot and uh, I carry this a lot for EDC and I even revisited it later after carrying other knives. I have a, a few CRKTs that I've been using lately and uh, I went back to this because I liked it so much. Um, but I love the two-tone. Okay, so we have a satin finish on our flats and we have a stone wash finish on both our grinds. There is a swedge on top here. It does not go all the way to the front. All right, but uh, it does come to a nice point here and it did come nice and sharp, all right? It's easy to maintain. It's one of the benefits of having a softer steel like an 8CR 13MOB, um, like an AUS 8, you know, uh, even 420 in some cases, it's just easier to sharpen. So, you know, it's kind of like the, the glass half full, you know, you can look at it and say, eh, it's a cheap steel, the glass is half empty. Or you can say, hey, it's an affordable knife and it's easier to sharpen, the glass is half full. So it just depends on how you look at it. Uh, black hardware on here, presentation side, 
um, hardware, which I like, meaning simply that the uh, screw heads on the back part, so it gives a nice clean look on the front. Okay, most knives are right side presentation, so righties looking at it, that's kind of how it's supposed to be seen, as opposed to looking at the back of it. Um, like I said, it is a frame lock. You can see the uh, lock up here. All right. It's a little bit early, but there's no, uh, no blade play in any direction, up and down, left and right. And again, you know, when you're using uh, a folder like this, especially a flipper, and it's super smooth, sometimes you only almost expect a little side to side. You're like, how'd that shoot out so nice? And not have any play because most times it has a little bit of side to side to give that that wiggle room to allow it to to shoot out so smoothly you know so there's no friction but the bearing system in here does all the work for you does not take much effort at all to get this thing to shoot out by the time you build up that little bit of pressure for the um you know detent to break free it's open very nice you can probably even do this backwards same thing hold it upside down use a middle finger pull back on the flipper whoop not, as long as you're not close to the table there. All right, so super, super smooth. Really like it a lot. Just a really nice knife. Overall, it's classy, it's elegant. It's, um, I mean, the brown and black, it may not be your bag. I'd love to see them in the future offer the same knife in another color variation. I'd love to see the black and orange. That'd be pretty cool. Like the uh, Leduc has that bright orange option as opposed to the brown. I get that the brown is kind of like their thing. It's in a lot of different... Uh, you know, models. Um, of course, I'd love to see a black and a gray, or even just a straight black. It's just, it's such a cool knife, but it, having just this one color option, even though there's two different sizes, only offering one color, if someone's not into the brown, they're gonna completely dismiss the knife altogether, which is really unfortunate, because it's a really cool knife. I really do like it a lot. Um, just nice, the Conquer from uh, Outdoor Edge. Pocket clip is awesome. Of course, you can see how smooth our back is. Again, it's titanium coated 420J2, all right? So it's super smooth, very easy to get in and out. It's not a deep conceal or anything because we have a kind of a pointed handle here. This is what shows in the pocket, all right? There's no lanyard hole either. Something to note if you happen to be one of those people that love lanyards or knives, this does not have that option. But easy to clean again, open frame. See two standoffs here. All right, if you look in here, you can see it's not skeletonized. But, uh, man, it's nice. Super smooth. So uh, if you happen to have the divide and you like it, I'd say it's a better version of it. This is still a cool knife. Oh, see? Slipping off. But uh, it's, like, it's almost like they took everything I didn't like about this and changed it into this. And I like everything about this. So, yeah, this is the better version of the divide. So there you go. That is the uh, the Conquer. So there's my opinion. So let me know if you have this knife down below, what you think of yours, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Always worth uh, speaking up, especially if you disagree, because, uh, you know, it's a good conversation to have. Hey, Jeff, I don't really think you're right about this because this is how I feel about it and this is what I do. I love to have those conversations. It, it often happens in private messages, and it's good to have that publicly so people can see where I'm coming from. My opinions are different because of what I'm using my knives for as opposed to maybe what you use your knives for. So it's good, it's not an argument, it's just a constructive criticism and constructive conversation about you know this particular knife or any knife for that matter. So uh, always open to your, your opinions, even if you disagree with me. So that's it, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.